The Martinic AX73 is a faithful emulation of the AX73 synthesizer, with a few modern changes and additions that mean it can hold its own with modern software synthesizers. In this video, we'll show you how to get started with the synth, giving you a guided tour of the key sections and how they work. Before we get started, it's important to note that the AX73 has two layers, each with its own oscillators, filter, modulators and more. These layers can be played on their own, split across the keyboard, or stacked on top of each other, giving a wide range of sound design possibilities. First, we'll look at the oscillators. Let's start by making some changes to the upper layer. At the moment, split is set to off, so we can't hear the lower layer at all. We'll start with VCO1. Both VCO1 and VCO2 have identical controls. We're looking to make a nice clean, organ-style chord stand so we'll choose the sine wave shape with the wave selector. We can adjust the tuning of the oscillators by octave, semitone and synth. Double click on any parameter to reset it to its default value. Let's tune oscillator 1 up by an octave. We'll open oscillator 2 and select a square wave. We can add a bit of pulse width modulation. The PW knob controls the amount, and PWMS controls the speed of the modulation made to it. We can also add a sub oscillator to both oscillators, but in this case, we won't do that. Let's turn down VCO2 with the level knob so it doesn't dominate the sound. Each layer also comes with a standalone noise oscillator. Turn it on with the noise button and increase the volume with the balance control. Each layer has a voltage controlled filter with frequency, resonance, filter type and slope controls. Each filter also has a standalone high pass and low pass filter. The OWFM dial is an original AX73 parameter that modulates the frequency of the filter with VCO1's triangle oscillator. For this sound, we'll use the default low pass filter. Add a bit of resonance and set the slope to 12 decibels per octave. So far, we've just been using the upper layer, but let's get the lower layer involved. Setting the leftmost dial to layer means every key on the keyboard plays both layers simultaneously. Let's look at an example. Here's what the lower layer sounds like on its own. And here's what the upper layer sounds like. Here's what they sound like when layered together. Each layer has its own envelope section, with one amp envelope labelled EGA and three assignable envelopes. Envelopes F and O are assigned to frequency and oscillator pitch by default, but you can change these using the select control. Each layer also has four unique LFOs, giving a total of eight. Each LFO can be assigned to VCO pitch, VCF cutoff, VCA amplitude, pulse width modulation speed, resonance, OWFM amount, and panning. But by default, LFO1 is assigned to VCO and LFO4 to PWM. Each LFO has identical controls. Let's run through the essential ones and what they do. The VCO dial lets you choose whether the LFO modulates just one of the VCOs or both. Alter the shape of the LFO's modulation with the wave shape selector. And set the modulation speed with the rate dial. You can synchronize the rate of each LFO to your door by activating the sync button. 
When unsynchronized, you can change the available range of modulation frequency with the speed dial. The original AX73 had a built-in chorus effect. And, in the VCA section of the Martinic AX73, you'll find this replicated. This particular chorus is controlled with just a single knob, but in Martinic's added effects section, you'll find another, more comprehensive chorus unit. Each position of the chorus knob emulates a different chorus setting from the original AX range synths. Martinic's effects section elevates the AX73 to a whole new level. With eight effects that can be arranged in any order by simply dragging and dropping, a huge number of sound design possibilities open up. The full effect lineup is as follows. A fully featured compressor, a chorus with width control, flanger with sync and depth, a phaser with feedback control, a delay with pan, with adjustable dampening controls the three band EQ tone adjustable distortion As mentioned before, the effects can be arranged in series in any order you like by simply dragging and dropping them. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, download the AX73 demo via the link in the description. And, if you want to learn more about the AX73, check out our advanced tutorial video over on our channel.